Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, as you can see, it's absolutely pissing down. <laughs> it's been like this now for the last two days. And I was going to do a video yesterday on location number two for that Devil's Coach Horse UK Beetle. But uh, once the weather gets a little bit better, I'll definitely uh, go to that location number two. But while we're here, guys, I'm going to do an update on my purse web spider. Uh, I got it from the British Tranchler Show in May. Uh, I've been putting food inside the enclosure, but unfortunately, I haven't seen it come out of its burrow, so I'm going to be taking all the substrate out and checking to see if it's okay. So everyone, there is the enclosure to my purse web spider. Now if I just lift the enclosure up, you'll see underneath that it's uh, built loads of tunnels and plenty of webbing. So I'm hoping it's okay. I haven't seen it for absolutely ages. So if you're new to my channel, I want to say a massive thank you to subscribing to my channel. And here is a picture of a purse web spider, just to rejog your memory. So everyone, let's just take the lid off. And you can see it's uh, built a little tunnel just here. And another one just there. So let's just take all this sphagnum ass out. And like I said, I'm hoping it's okay. I'm just double checking to see if uh, it hasn't died. I'm hoping and praying it hasn't. So let's take all that sphagnum ass out. Let's remove the piece of cork bark. If you remember guys, it's not very big, it's only around the two centimetre. So I'll get my trusty little spoon and take all the substrate out. So guys, it's just, I've got my spoon. Just gonna be very careful. So all the leftover substrate, I'm just putting it into a separate container. Let's just move the camera to there. There we go. I'm not too sure if uh, this purse web spider is a male or female. I wasn't really too fussed. I got it off uh, Martin French. I've known Martin for a few years now. I bought my Scolopendra Hardwicky from him in 2012 he owns a website called uh, bugs uk absolutely fantastic website please check him out i'll leave a link in the description so once we get down to the bottom guys i'll press record so we're at the bottom of the enclosure and uh, that's the webbing that's where it's made its tunnel, so I'm hoping that it's in this part here. So let's just take that part out and put it in the separate container. So let's just quickly just check this substrate here. No, it's not. It's definitely not in there. Just have to be extra careful that I don't actually hurt the true spider in any way. No, it's not in there, so I'm hoping it's inside that webbing that I've just taken out. So, I have my two sets of tongs here, so here is that piece of webbing. I'm hoping it's in here. Just got to be very, very careful. It's a... Uh, like opening an egg sack. <laughs> oh, I can see the webbing's moving, guys. So it's uh, it's looking good. It's looking at that the the true spider's okay. Come on, ah, <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's looking a lot bigger than it did before. And there it is. It's doing 
absolutely fine. So, yeah, it was uh, a hit and miss, guys. I was hoping that she was going to be okay, and it is. I'm sure Martin did say it was a female, but my memory is just, you know, it's absolutely shocking. Old age. And there we go. And there she is. And there it is, guys. Look at them fangs. Oh, my God. And it's uh, crazy. I haven't seen this true spider since May. And look at the size of the abdomen. Absolutely huge. But I'm so happy that it's okay. You can see the abdomen's going uh, very, very dark. So it could possibly be uh, in uh, pre -mult. But these do get fairly big. I've been told that they can get to around the inch and a half to two inch mark. So it looks like it wants to go back inside its burrow. But I really wanted to um, see if it was okay. And the only way I can do that is by um, taking it out of its burrow. So what I'll do is, guys, I'll put it in a smaller container. And um, I'll make a pre-made burrow for it. So it can uh, burrow down and do its own thing. But them, uh, them fangs, oh my god, they're absolutely huge. So guys, I just wanted to uh, give you a close-up on the fangs. And they're absolutely huge. So if you're a cricket or a mealworm, you'd be running a mile. <laughs> Not very big to us, but uh, yeah, they are very, very impressive. So while we're here, guys, let's get a smaller enclosure and rehouse her into a new home. So guys, this is the enclosure I'm going to use, and it's um, a burrowing species, as you've just seen, so that's why I've put loads of substrate in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a pen and just make a pre-made burrow. So if I just push the pen all the way down to the bottom, and hopefully it'll go down there and uh, build some webbing. So guys, I'm just going to let it walk inside its new enclosure and there we go so it should be okay in there it's uh, got uh, loads of room to dig let's just zoom in guys there we go so hopefully it should go down there and uh, build a little burrow please focus thank you very much so yeah, I'll leave it alone guys to let it do its own thing and uh, thanks for watching everyone.